Welcome to another group Iron Man episode. In this one we are going to do a lot of Slayer. I need to get to 87 to be able to complete the hard combat diaries and I have put a counter here. Zero experience and let's see how much we can get in this video. The first assignment is going to be Black Demons. That's pretty good. That is pretty cool. I just hit 90 hit points. Soon done with the task as well. This is going to be a good amount of combat experience which is very nice for future bossing as well. But 90 hit points is a very good level to hit. I have a very interesting bug. I actually was on my main account and I was using the Orb of Oculus where you basically disappear and you can film like small cutscenes or whatever you want. But uh, when I logged into my group Iron Man account, I'm still invisible. I don't know how long this is going to last. Maybe I have to relog again, but I mean I logged out and logged in and it was still the case. Like maybe I have to teleport, maybe I have to use the orb of, orb of Oculus again or something. Yeah, this is interesting. I think I can still take damage though. If I go into melee range, 68 HP or 69 HP. Yeah, I think it's definitely attacking me. I can't really see though, but I think it is. I'm 100% sure I did not do this when I became invisible, but I guess the game does it when you use the Orb of Oculus. By the way, 91 ranged while I'm recording, but uh, you can actually type this. So in the chat, render self. And you will become invisible. I guess that's kind of what the Orb of Oculus does for you. But if you type it again, if you get the bug, you will be uh, back to normal. So that's how I solved it. Very nice coincidence. I got a greater demon task of 136. Meanwhile, Dovidas actually has one as well. So we are going in to do some trio krill with two slayer tasks. So this should be nice. Hopefully get some drops. Not quite a samurai spear, but uh, gold to chart one. And that is actually apparently something we need. So nice. So there's actually two hard achievements I can do now that we're doing Krilla anyways. They're all the way down here and this is the one. All the minions have to be dead at the same time as Krill dies. So we're going to try to do that and the other one is for 50kc. I will get that passively anyway. So I'm just going to tank the boss here. Meanwhile the other ones try to kill the minions. And then we will all circle the boss at the same time and hopefully get it. All the minions are dead. This should be the achievement. Let's see if it is. And we get a steam battle staff on top of that as well. That is the same drop rate, by the way, as a Samuraki and Spear. So it would be nice to get that instead. But yeah, that is the uh, hard combat task completed. Nice. Oh my god, we actually finally got one. That took so many kills. The first Samuraki and Spear for the team. That's going to be very nice. I'm not sure if that is going to be turned into a Samuraki and Hasta, honestly, or if we're going to keep it as a spear to maybe do like Corp and stuff like that. So that is very nice to see regardless. And that's 50 KC on Krill, which is the last hard combat achievement for the boss. So and now I'm done here, but we're going to do probably one more trip because, uh, hey, you can't get a spear and then leave. Hey, that is another one, Steam Battle Staff. I think that is unironically like our fifth or sixth one, so I don't think we want more of those. And that is the second one, actually very short after that. We have been so dry here, but getting two Samuraki and Spears in a very short amount of time. A good thing we actually went and did this when we both had a Slayer task, it's paying off. Nice. First Slayer level of the video, 77 Slayer, still need 10 more Slayer levels overall for the combat achievements to be completed, but uh, yeah, still nice. So it is time, 181 Gargoyles is excellent because I am going to get 100 KC on the Grotesque Guardians, which is one of the tasks I need for the hard Diaries, and I need to do 90 because I currently have 10. It is a pretty slow boss to do on this uh, gear set I have. So this is going to be quite a grind, but it's a nice drops and maybe we can get some rares. Just quickly before we go and do that, I actually have quite a lot of Hispori tasks. One is kill all the flowers within 5 seconds, finish off Hispori with a special attack, and the last one is literally just 10 times. So I need to do this anyways as often as I can. Weed Whacker got it instantly, just had to throw some darts at the flowers. Very easy task. One last spec chance here. Let's see if it dies. Oh, there we go. Okay, I actually splashed the uh, specs before that, so kind of unfortunate. But there we go, Hesporescent. And also I am now at 2kc, so I will need overall... Oh, 73 farming as well, nice. But overall I will need uh, 8 more kills. The best advice I can give to people who have like a mid-tier account that want to do grotesque guardians is to actually bring Guthans and bring a toxic blowpipe for your range setup. It's actually really strong here, the toxic blowpipe. But the special attack also heals you, and that's the reason why I want to bring Guthans as well. Even though you can't actually use the Slayer Hammer with this, it has really shown that it can make me sustain a lot longer here. 
because when I wasn't using these things to heal, I could only do like two or three kills. Maybe if I get a food drop, maybe four kills. But with this set, if I get some decent heals, I can sometimes stay here for like seven to eight kills. Look at that. That's not a half bad drop. Runite or an Onyx Ball tips, I'll take that. The halfway point has been reached, 50kc, and I have a question for you guys. What boss is your least favorite to do in the game? Personally, I wouldn't say that this is my least favorite boss. It's really close, I would say. It's such a hassle to do, especially on a lower tier account. But uh, otherwise, I would say probably the wilderness bosses, because of the risk of getting PK'd. I have to focus all the time, otherwise there's going to be like a team logging in beside me on Callisto and just uh, AGSing me and I'm dead. The first item, Granite Ring, not very useful. I think it's a tank ring, let's look at the stats. Well, now I already have a good tank ring on, but uh, yeah, it has only defense stats. You can actually imbue it as well, but it is still going to be vastly worse than the Ring of Suffering, so I'm not going to do much with that. How much does it look for? 9k, wow, nice. Oh my god, here we go, finally, if I can get a hit in, this is actually going to be 2 in 1, that's going to be 78 Slayer, and on top of that, 100 KC done. That is quite a long grind actually to do with this account, that took me from like 10 KC, so 90 KC, probably took me like 6.5 to 7 hours, so nice to be finally done with that. I'm going to finish off on the normal ones and resume with normal Slayer grind, at least I got a lot of Slayer experience for that. I almost forgot, this is the loot that I got, some pretty decent Alki Balls, and you can also see that the coal here was actually surprisingly good, 2400, I'm just going to put most of this that I got in the storage, I guess these diamond ball tips is also pretty good, and whatever my team wanna do with them, they can do, I I'm not really going to use much of it myself. Oh my god, I've been so out of pilot doing Slayer, that's 92 ranged, that's uh, halfway point experience wise to 99, so that's very nice to see. Oh, Odium Shard 3, that is the one we want. By the way, in my last video I was talking about how we're trying to get the Odium Wards, and uh, we are doing some Scorpia right now. That's actually the second one, Dark World Order got one, and uh, we need a third and we're done. And uh, there it is, look at that, Odium Shard 3 again, we now have three of this, we have three from the Crazy Archaeologist, and we have zero from the Chaos Fanatic. We wanted three Odium Wards, so now it is literally only three from the Chaos Fanatic to get three shields. Oh my god, 400,000 Slayer experience, and this is the first burstable task I got. Interesting, uh, it is a very small one as well, unfortunately, but I only have like 195 points, and even if I would extend it now, I would not get this one extended. I'm not sure if I want to spend that just yet, but I will in the future. This one I will definitely get when I get to AD Slayer. Nothing too eventful happened on that dustable task, but I had to AFK something, and I thought I might as well AFK some cannonballs, and look at that, 5,850 of them. I still have like 700 steel bars in the bank as well, but the main reason why I actually wanted to do that is because the task I was working on is Caliphites, and doing that without a cannon is terrible. So having a lot of these cannonballs now for those specific tasks and a couple of other ones is pretty nice. Probably going to go through these very quickly, but... Uh, I had to AFK anyways, and, and whenever I have something to AFK, I'm probably going to do cannonballs. But uh, I don't even have a cannon right now, so I'm going to go and buy that. I have the money for it. Just look at this. This is why you want a cannon on this task. It is disgustingly fast. I mean, they have 40 HP. It can hit like 30s, so I don't even have to do anything. I can just auto-retaliate, and it just kills everything for me. Actually, very close to three levels, I'm going to get 81 defense, 81 attack, and on this black demon, I'm going to get 79 slayer. Pretty nice. One more level until 80, and I might have that as a goal for this video. Might do more. We will see what happens. One big hit here, and that is 81 attack. One more hit, 81 defense. Nice. Managed to get myself a Barrow's task, and there is actually two hard tasks I can complete. Kill carols using only special attacks, and the second one is... Kill all of the brothers without using any prayer points, so should be easy enough. I'm pretty sure this should be it, it's like 1 HP, so let's get the d Halis back in with Piety. That is a 6, and just like that is completed, so only one more task to do now. Not that hard of a task, just had to do all the Barrow's brothers without having prayer points, and this should be it. Faithless Crypt Run completed. Now I don't have to worry about Barrow's for the hard diary anymore.
I'm always doing my spiritual creature tasks here for the ancient ceremonial gear chance. I already have the top, but look in the chat. Dovadas is doing the same thing. He got dragon boots, and before that, he actually got the legs. And I have the top, so we now have the top and the legs. And I think those are the best looking items, except for the helmet. So if I get the helmet, we have basically all the items I would want from that set, just cosmetic wise. I, I just think they look really good. Look at that, that is the gloves achieved, not the helmet that I wanted the last piece, but that is a unique, we don't have that yet. It's the boots and the helmet, and we have the entire set as a team. With 14 kills left, that is a duplicate. At least I can put it in the storage if someone wants to use it. Now we have more of them, but they're not very useful. If you're wondering, they are the same stats as monk robes, so they are basically just fancier versions. It has been quite a grind, but that is now 80 Slayer achieved, which is a big milestone because that unlocked Necreals. Now I am basically going to uh, use most of my points in the future to try to get as many Necreal tasks as I can, Ice Burst them for insane Slayer experience, and from now on the Slayer experience should be going up by quite a bit compared to what I've been getting. I haven't really been getting any Burst tasks unfortunately over this grind, and I am currently at like 141 tasks. I started at 103, so I've done like 38 tasks or something like that in this video, which is quite a bit. So I am coming up pretty close to that 150 point mark, which is going to give me a lot of points. I do have almost 300 points, so I do feel like it's definitely worth to uh, extend the Necreals if I do get them. They are just crazy experience. Let's see what the first one is. Oh, Dust Devils! That's a bursting task. Actually, second Dust Devil task I've got this in, uh, entire video, basically. But uh, yeah, let's hopefully get a lot of burst tasks from now on. Oh well, uh, Dust Battle Staff actually not even from a superior. That is actually in the collection log as well. That's the first one I've ever got. I think we do already have one or two of these, but we definitely do not have five. So that is a nice drop. And it's very rare, I feel like, from these normal Dust Devils. Let me check it up. Yeah, it was pretty rare. One in 4,000 drop rate. So pretty nice drop to get. Oh my god, look at that. I got 218 Necreals as a task, and I want to see how much Slayer experience there's going to be from one task. I currently have 16.6% of the level, so let's see where I end at. I actually killed like one Necreal, and I already got a superior, so let's see what we get from this one. Almost 3.3k experience, that is so nice, and uh, I will actually need a lot of these totem pieces, because I have to kill 10 Scotiso for the Hard Diary. So actually getting any superior, regardless of if I get any rare or not, it always gives a totem piece inside of this dungeon, so it is good for that reason. And as you can see in the chat, that is the task completed. I actually killed 290 Necreals because I was using the Bracelets of Slaughter. They basically, I don't know if it says here, occasionally prevent Slayer kill count from being decriminate Decriminated? Is that even a word? Alright, anyways. Uh, it's 25% chance to not count a kill on your Slayer task, so it is very nice for getting more Slayer experience on task. But uh, yeah, I started with 16% Slayer experience on the level, and I have now 49%. So what is that, like 33% of a level, one third of a level on one single task. Hopefully I get a lot of these tasks. Now from the Slayer grind I've done in this video, which is 732,000 Slayer experience, I did not complete any hard clue scrolls because I didn't want to uh, waste any time farming as much experience as possible, but I did want to complete medium clue scrolls and I actually only got two of them, but uh, we are going to open them right now and see if we can get lucky with the ranger boots. Also, this is all the alkyballs I got, it's not uh, too many. Most of it actually from Necreals, like the Ruined Full Helms, the Square Shields and all that. But uh, I was mostly on the Ancient Spellbook and that is why I did not Alec them. But let's open these two mediums and see what we get. First one is two uniques. Peaceful Blessing is a Gothics item I would assume, so it's not too useful in the God Wars dungeon. And the second one is... How is that a unique? Oh, it's from the other one. Okay, so this is just terrible rewards. Unlucky. Before I end the video, I want to say I am going to make League's content, so if you're looking forward to the Shattered Relics, I am going to make content on it, and I think it's going to be a very interesting and fun series, so hope to see you there. But for now, this is going to be the end of this video. Leave the video a like if you enjoyed it, and subscribe if you want to see the future Shattered Relics content or Group Iron Man content, and I will see you guys in the next one. Take care.